Yo, what's up? Tom V here. This is my work in progress Toyota Corolla slash it's a Chevy Prism in the ugly champagne color. But I'm gonna do a build of low cost on this thing and it's actually turning out pretty sweet. So I'm just gonna go over some of the upgrades that you can pretty much do on any car to make it look a lot, lot, lot better and cooler and actually make it more gas efficient as well as faster too. Even though, I mean, I'm not saying this is a fast car. It's 1.8 um, dual overhead cam, which helps a little bit. Um, it's fuel injected, 2,000 um, with 60K, 1,000 miles on it. Um, so as you can see, I backed black um, everything on the outside as well as painted um, a custom paint scheme uh, black. And I'm going to revert the tan color to um, blue to match the orange on the taillights and I'm gonna do a um, Nas energy drink sponsored car um, this is a back bumper I custom cut it cut it um, but I don't think it'll pass inspection so I'm get, I got a new stock bumper and I'm gonna add this to the bottom of the stock bumper creating uh, the same air diffuser effect that you kind of see there already um, the interior is done with the vinyl spray paint that you can get at Pep Boys. Um, you can see I'm not fully done doing it in all places, like um, anything that opens, uh, like these edges, you can see this one's not done. Um, just some small stuff here and there. You can see the uh, ceiling's actually only halfway done. But I don't know, I think it's kind of comical and it gives it kind of like a graffiti look, so I don't mind driving around with it. Um, to have more money to buy black vinyl spray paint. Um, another thing is to add eyelids to your car. Um, they make them look more aggressive and just sit for like a week, two weeks, think about it, see what will look best, and then do it just with black spray paint and it'll look awesome. In this case, a lot with many headlights, you black out this and you'll get less uh, orange glare, so it'll kind of give you a more crystal look on your headlights. Um, these are just the Pep Boy $50 rim rims. Um, I think they're two inches bigger than stock, maybe one, I don't know. Um, uh, I like asymmetric racing stripes because I think they take an ugly car and the asymmetry kind of makes it beautiful. And if you have a wing, you can uh, get some repetition there. Um, as you can see, I kind of like almost did like a shark fin themed, which will go nice with the blue and orange with that shark fin. And I might have a row of Evo spikes here that I'll custom make for cheap out of just black plastic. I'll show you that in my next video. Um, yeah, this whole uh, back panel um, behind the glass is still tan, but I did spray paint that uh, the brake light thing black, so that looks cool. It's kind of like called out or blacked out. Um, while you're painting, you'll use up a lot of painter's tape, so this is a trick that I do. I uh, just put all my used painter tape up here and try to reuse it as much as I can because that shit is expensive, especially if you buy the frog tape, which is a dollar extra, but is worth it. Um, and if you buy the frog tape, I'm trying to get an example. Right here you can kind of see, this is just with blue painter's tape. Yeah, this side was done with the frog tape and I think I did the other side of the car with blue painters tape and you can kind of see actually that looks pretty good but all right um, also when you're trying to pimp out your car pick a color scheme and stick with it you can see I have that random blue pad back there just because it's the same color blue as the painters tape um, you know just try, try to make your car match in colors is always an easy thing to do This is a five speed automatic. Automatic sucks, but um, this car is totally practical, which I love. Now, as you open up your engine bay, you can see I took the, uh, the sound deadening insulation, which was not only a weight reduction, but gave that car more engine sound, which a lot of people would probably want. So feel free to uh, remove that. And then you can see how there's two X's here. There was actually a straight bar that ran down the center, and I just removed that to kind of uh, make a cleaner look for these two X's. 
Um, I'm going to relocate this bar. You'll see that in another video. I'm just going to make it shorter and to the left of the side because, um, or sorry, well, depends on which way you're standing, but this side of the car is heavier, so I'm trying to move more stuff to this side of the car, um, especially with the driver's side being heavier and me sitting in it as the driver. Um, so I just added this guy um, the other day. I like that. Um, this is the front strut bar I got. I had the the softest body ever. I could feel it flexing every time I did a turn. So this is a random universal one, and uh, it just barely fits. So these are actually these screws are dialed all the way in, which is actually the uh, most strength I can get out of this strut bar, which is awesome. I do um, uh, hear the sway bar underneath squeaking a little bit more now, um, but that should just need some WD-40, and they don't make a thicker. Um, sway bar for an upgrade, so I'm just gonna have to go easy on it and not drift as often as I would like um, I took off this engine cover and put this um, fake carbon fiber over it um, This actually got brittle over the years. I don't know why and I put my finger through it So I put this nice sticker over it um, I tried to be like pretty silly with this car on how it's made so I had like the upside down slanted one um, so, I don't know, I hope to keep this car, like, pretty fun. Um, I even tried to center my battery two inches more this way. So, like, this car is just, like, thought over. Um, I have, uh, um, aerodynamics in this engine bay, so the air travels in and then to the left away from my airbox, which is, um, to this side, um, by putting vents and stuff on this side of the engine bay, and that will give you a colder intake and therefore more power. Um, you just gotta be careful. Any, um, vents that you put on the hood, make sure they don't, um, allow water to leak on anything, but, um, the inside frame parts if, if need be. Um, what, what else, what else? Um, the car is currently out of alignment. I can't wait to get that fixed. Um, this uh, is actually pretty cool. I took the front bumper that was stock, which, look it up, it's like the ugliest bumper ever created. Um, but basically there was damage on the um, passenger. Anyways, this front bumper is made from the uh, original stock bumper. Um, it just had damage on the passenger side, so I cut it away on this side, that triangle that you see, and therefore I did the symmetrical thing on this side, and then I had that bottom piece that was loose, so I fashioned it using almost like the mud guards, um, and kind of crea creating them into canards or dinards, I, I, I've heard them said both ways, um, and this bumper is now extremely low to the ground. Um, and it's awesome. It looks so natural to the car. Kind of like turtleish, I think. I don't know. Um, also, if you have a stacked grill, or basically any kind of grill, try to turn it into a blacked out uh, nose. Um, you've seen that on the GTR. Some people have done it on the Scion TC, and it makes it look like the GTR. And you can even do it with stacked grills on Mustangs and it just looks like totally dope um, so that's a really sweet upgrade that you can do for just the cost of uh, black spray paint you can see I had to make an adapter just out of a piece of uh, trapezoidal plastic with um, six screws on either side but this is a solid front bumper um, but unfortunately I removed this padding and technically this is a sharp edge but I mean it's not that dangerous, but apparently the one shop I took it to said I had to buy a new front bumper. Therefore, I have the front bumper over here, which I'm doing some work on. I got it, and it's not the um, the flex um, kind, um, Duraflex. It's fiberglass, which sucks because now it's more fragile. But um, I'm bond doing it, as you can see here, and. Um, the bonded will stick to um, the fiberglass and now I, I'm doing a custom front bumper and this one is pretty sweet looking it's got side vents and you'll see that on the car next video along with um, the uh, a wide body kit with four wheel well arches once I get those bad boys from the mail um, this is the Evo uh, the new Evo wing I think there's three heights of it and this is the mid height um, other upgrades 
our um, this awesome carbon fiber shortened antenna. <coughs> oh, by the way, I uh, have a video of how to install a hood, or uh, sorry, a wing on um, any car. Also, sorry, the engine bay. Um, I spent some time and back to blacked all the hoses, as well as I cleaned off every part of the inside of this engine bay and painted it black. So instead of being tan, it's now black, and it looks a lot, lot better. Um, if you ever spray on any um, metal parts like this nice aluminum, just get some lacquer thinner or pretty much turpentine anything uh, to clean that up, and um, it'll be nice instead of sanding it or whatever. Um, as far as interior upgrades, um, let's see. This is actually really funny and ghetto. Um, these are springs from my work. Um, uh, replacement springs for uh, a machine, so these were replaced. Um, these are uh, two uh, ghetto things that held like two pillows together at Marshalls, but it's the exact size as my seats. Uh, so it kind of looks like a four-point harness. Um, like I said, this is a Prism, um, a Chevy Prism, and uh, the stock, or and then it, the sister car is a Toyota Corolla, and it actually sells for one to two grand more. But um, I spent this summer in uh, Toyota Corollas of this year, if, this exact year in color and everything. So I've I see the differences in both cars, and I've taken the best qualities of both of them and put it into this car. <clears throat> um, this car also has a weight reduction, so you can see that there's no passenger seat. And I've probably taken out 200, 300 pounds from this car, increasing its 0 to 60 by a lot. Um, so it's not, it's definitely, definitely faster than a stock Corolla, even with the bigger tires on it. I could have left the old tires on and actually increased my 0 to 60 um, a lot more. <clears throat> And a lot of cars blacking out the roof and blacking out these uh, window supports or struts um, makes the car look shorter, therefore sportier, as well as the bl um, black also symbolizes or is an optical illusion that kind of makes it look like glass that's tinted, which everybody loves. So um, basically anything that you can paint black, it'll make the car look better. That includes... Um, if you have drum brakes, um, uh, take a grill brush, a brand new one, and dedicate it to just brushing off uh, rusty things and painting them black. Because this whole wheel well, the shocks, um, like I said, this, I, um, I also did, I don't know if you can see it, but I painted a bunch of the uh, suspension parts um, gloss black again, and it looks a whole lot better than unpainted and dirty. Um, so, uh, I guess this is the video one of my project, and stay tuned for the second one.